got five minutes. Let's check out a Sega Master System game. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Fun for Five. That's right. We're back. We're back doing some Fun for Fives. And it is Master System Monday. That's right. Yes, we're back doing some Master System Mondays. It feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. Now, I do actually have a true Master System Monday coming up really, really soon. But you know what? I'm saving it for something special. I wanted it to be the first episode, but then I realized, you know what? If I made that the first episode, then I don't know if I could ever top what this, what that Fun for Five might be. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to ease into it a little. We're going to shake off the rust. We're going to get back into doing some of these Fun for Fives. And we're going to explore the unknown to some. What we're going to play today is a prototype game that wound up becoming an actual release on a system. And that system is the Evercade VS. So how did this Sega Master System game come about? Well, let's take a look here um, over in the Giant Bombs um, on thegiantbomb.com. Um, it says here that Gotris is a homebrew aftermarket Sega Master System game released as demos throughout 2019 before a final version was made public in September 6th, 2021. Now that was right around the corner. Um, it was later included as the hidden pack-in game for the Evercade VS, which is of course how we're going to play it. It's the home console version of the Evercade, of course, for those that do not know. Um, and it is unlockable by pressing a certain button combination on the main menu without a cartridge in the system. So those Evercade fans that might be watching this vid, of course know that if you do not have any cartridges in your in your Evercade VS, neither cart slot 1 or cart slot 2, you can get this game by selecting L2, R2, and Select at the same time. So L2, R2, Select gets you this game, which is called Gotris. So <clears throat> um, this game... Um, technically, what they say, they, this game technically is the first single game release for the system. So that's a little, little debatable, um, because uh, on the Evercade, of course, there are tons of different secret games, um, many of which were, were included inside of the uh, the firmware of the system upon its release. There were actually three or four games, I think four actually, four games that were um, embedded, maybe even more that we haven't even found. Um, that are included inside of the uh, first official firmware. So it's not technically a single game release, in my opinion. I think, um, as far as that goes, uh, on the Evercade VS, um, it, it's not a collection, but there are more than one game inside of the um, uh, the firmware, as it were. So over on smspower.org, uh, there's a little more information. Um, it says... The same thing, Gotris is based on a prototype game um, that was made um, with another uh, indie developer back in 2006-2007. never got published, um, but had the concept in the back of uh, the, the person's mind um, as they spent a couple of weeks on medical leave at the beginning of March. Um, I guess the, the, this past March uh, in, in uh, 2021 um, had the decided to have the idea to port it to the SMS. Uh, it has been programmed in a hurry, recycling some code from other projects. It can be improved a lot, but it's playable. Uh, it was used, uh, it has used dev kit SMS uh, by Sev Severex. Um, the current version, after a couple of years, we, f we um, finally released a full version of the game, uh, released finally as version 1.2p on uh, smspower.org. Uh, uh, graphics has been done by um, Manu Segura, music by uh, David E. Dan, um, and compatibility has been tested by Sir Presley. Um, that's all courtesy of um, smspower.org, and they have the, um, what is this game about? So Gotris is the impossible mix of the ancient game Go and the mighty Tetris. Surround pieces of one color with ones of another color uh, to clear them and earn points. So it's kind of like 
literally what it, what it just says go or reversi mixed with tetris so the pieces fall and as they fall you have to kind of line them up to, in order to you know surround them and do all that kind of stuff but enough chit chat about that why don't we just get into it and play some gotris for about five minutes and then at the end i will tell you whether or not the fun was indeed found inside this game or was it something else Let's go into the Sega Master System world and play some Gotris for about five minutes, and we'll chat about this on the other side. Let's do it. All right, here we are. Here's some Gotris. Um, I haven't started it yet. They have like a little tracked mode here um, that's going on. Um, got my trusty Evercade VS controller. Um, we're going to rock this here in just a second. All right, so there's the Gotris menu. I think it's kind of cool. Gotris. See, you hear hear the little hear the little Gotris guy. There's actually like a little a little uh, simulated voice in there. Get ready. It's kind of cool. I don't know what kind of accent that is, but so the way the game goes is you take a turn, a CPU player takes a turn. You take a turn, a CPU player takes a turn, etc., etc. So he just scored a whole bunch because I set him up for it, uh, which was my bad. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do? So basically, you just have to, like, you know, try to try to set it up where you can surround the um, these little pieces and get some points. So I just scored about 500 points there um, just by doing that. Uh, he, he scored some points um, right there by doing some other type of surround. Hmm. Is he trying to block me out here? I don't know what's going on there, but let's see. Let's see what we can do. So, <clears throat> all right, let me see if I can make a block here. Hang on, let me see if I can just build this. Build this around here. All right. I got that. Let's see where he's placing. Oh, see, he looked. He's looking for the surround. Did I set him up though? Oh, we didn't go for it. I got him. That was a huge score right there. A huge score. Oh, I guess that's enough to uh, go to the next level. I guess if you score over a certain one, kind of like in Tetris, um, it'll it'll take you to the next level here. So he's going there. I'm going to fill in some here. to make a big old block. Let's see what happens here. So, I mean, this game is definitely one of those ones that is, um, yeah, worth checking out. I definitely think it's uh, a pretty solid uh, bit of programming here, especially for a homebrew game. It definitely seems and feels like it is um, an actual, like, honest-to-goodness produced game. Um, this could have been a cart that you could have picked up at a, um, at a store. I mean, I, I would have, totally believable. Um, so, let's see here. Oh, I think I messed up. Oh, there we go. I did get some. Good, good, good. Alright, let's see if he gets it there. Yeah, he's gonna get that one. That's okay. So, uh, let me go down here and blow up this stuff. See if he goes around. Is he gonna go around here? Oh, I got a combo. Look at that. Look at that combo. Oh, brings us to the next level. That's kind of cool. I mean, music here is is kind of neat. Um, Definitely um, no FM sounds here, because uh, I, I think in the emulation there's no FM. Uh, there's no FM emulation. I don't think in um, that's available for uh, the Evercade. Um, I'm not positive, but I, I'm pretty sure um, that it doesn't have that module because you need. I think you need a special module in order to do the uh, the FM uh, sound chip. Uh, emulation. So that would be cool, though. 
I had to, I had to check with the people over at, uh, at Blaze to see if that's a possibility, because that would be really cool to add as a feature for SMS titles, uh, the ability to switch, kind of like on the Retron, where you can get the FM module or not. Um, that'd be neat. I just grab my points and go here. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, it, game seems, seems neat. There is a little bit of a thing where the pieces seem to fall a little faster, um, you know, like, very quickly. Um, so I'm not, I'm not exactly sure about that. Um, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of it, to be honest. <laughs> um, the, I think the, the pieces should be, you know, a little more gradual, so you can kind of get a, get used to it a little more. Um, let me see if I can do that. Yep. Alright, so let's see. If he's gonna leave that alone, I should be able to slip this in here. Yeah, he's not gonna go for it. Let me slip this down there. There we go. Nice. Yeah, it's, I mean it's neat. I'm having a good time. You know, it's it's you know it's pretty it's pretty basic. I think there's only this one mode. Um, so there's that. So I don't know if there's actually a thing where you could like maybe maybe do a multiplayer kind of thing. I'm not sure about that either. Um, but uh, but yeah, definitely still having a having a, a grand old time playing this. Yeah, he filled in that. Um, I guess. Oop. I think there's. Ah, oh, did he do that? Yeah, he got he got it. He got it. Well played there, computer guy. Let's see where he's, he's going here. This is getting nuts. I'm just gonna play until. Oh, see, you see, now they're starting to fall really, really fast. I can like barely move it. And there it is. There's the game over right there. But uh, was it 21 800? It wasn't that bad. And it was a little over five minutes, I think. Um, but uh, oh sweet. Oh, I think I can. Can I? Can I put in my score? No, I guess not. I guess I'm just a a a a man. But. There was my score there. All right, cool. So that was a little bit of a um, a preview there of Gotris. Uh, let's go on to the wrap up and uh, you know get this going. <clears throat> All right, guys. So that was Gotris for the second master system, um, courtesy of the Evercade VS. And if you guys are finding me um, on through a Sega Master System um, channel or you know through through the Sega Master System pages on Facebook or something like that and you're like wait what is this thing what is this thing called the Evercade VS let me just tell you it is a retro gamers kind of like collection paradise right now um, it's a little system that's been that has been coming out uh, over the past couple years by Blaze Entertainment it's a handheld um, little guy looks like this play some cool games on it um you can get cartridges and slap them in there you can have all sorts of different collections from namco to data east to technos to all those you know to to every in television atari all those all those things um but every once in a while um there is a sega master system game that gets slipped in there because they uh, get licenses for all these different um, consoleized versions of games. Some of them are arcade licenses too, which is really cool to check out as well. Um, but as far as the Master System goes, I think right now there are three, two released and one in the pipeline. I want to say it's Gotris, the guy, the game we just played, and there's one on the Bitmap Brothers collection, which is this guy right here, that I might be checking out next week, um, and Speedball which is the guy, guy right there, Speedball right there. You can kind of see that it's got the, if I can focus in there, nah, it still won't focus. All right, well, anyway, so Speedball right there, it's kind of got the 
the Master System, you know, like squares on the uh, on the key art right there. Um, but it is indeed a Master System game. So we might actually check out Speedball next week um, for a uh, Sega Master System um, Fun for Five. So <clears throat> as far as Gotris, though, was the fun found? Is it a yeah, but? But not great, or is it certified good times? Which one? Which one? I'm gonna go ahead and give it the fun was found. And the reason why is because, you know, right away, you know, it gives you that first impression. It's got the reverse angle, it's got the Tetris angle. I'm a huge puzzle game fan, and the game's mechanics work. Now, it doesn't push it to certified good times. It's not something I need you, everybody to go rush out and play right away. Um, you know, it takes a little bit of of luck and skill to kind of get you to to do those surround things. And of course, you have an opponent that's you know fighting against you to try to get you know block you from getting the surround so that they can get the surround later. So there is a little a little bit of that um, you know strategic nature taken from you because you have somebody on the same board uh, messing with what's going on. Um, so it, it takes a, it takes a little bit out of the experience for me, but it's still a fun game, and it's still something that I want to actually just keep keep on playing. And I might actually play just a little bit more after this. So um, when a game does that for me, it's definitely um, definitely the fun was found in that, in that little preview there. So that about wraps that up for the... The fun for five. So, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of Gotris and the the warm up, the warm up to the return of the fun for fives here um, on the Bacon Ice Cream Channel? Go ahead down in the comments below and let me know what's going on with that, and um, we'll be coming at you with some more stuff pretty soon. I'm gonna hopefully be able to get into doing some more systems and introducing some more things very very soon. So. What we used to do in the back of the day is we used to do some um, Sega Master System. Then we would do, um, you know, we talk about things in the world of intelligent, but not necessarily play. That's been fixed in two different ways. One of which you might even see tomorrow, um, where I kind of start diving into intelligent, maybe even by the same friendly nature of the Evercade VS. We'll see what, what's going on there. Um, and then of course we also do the Atari VCS and then the Evercade as it's as itself um, looking in at the collections and doing that kind of stuff. So you know if you like all that kind of stuff keep it locked here right on the channel. We'll be doing all sorts of fun for fives coming up soon and then of course on Saturdays in the afternoons almost every Saturday um, starting in January is the Evercast. The Evercast normally is our Saturday podcast here on the Bacon Ice Cream channel, um, where me, Classy Gaming Pete, uh, Retro Kill Dash 9, and Crow from the Crow Continuum all come in and chat all about the Evercade. It's a cool podcast. We do it live uh, Saturday mornings around 11 a.m. So come on in, jump in the chat, and have some fun. We'd love to have you. All right. Well, that is all for today. So until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. Team